Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town for Mill TKK. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, and with me is Carmen Miller. We hope you enjoy this segment of Talk of the Town. Here with Hope McBride, the president of the TKK Women's Club, which is quite an organization. You guys sure do is. so much in the community. Um, let's begin, Hope, with telling me when did you become president? Okay, I became president in April of this year, and it's a year's a year's uh, commitment. Reign. Commitment, <laughs> yes. And um, the Women's Club is actually about 130 women. Really, all ages, all walks of life. All it's ages. All ages. So, I mean, seriously, like what age is the we, young, I, about the youngest member? Probably in their 30s, Fantastic. professional women, and then we have ladies in their 80s. Ah. So, it's awesome. And uh, it's actually a social group. And we do, they have a lot of stuff going on during the day. They have luncheons and cards and all kinds of stuff that they get together and do book clubs. And that was their, their original and it is their, their main um, priority. Mm -hmm. But they also do whatever anybody wants them to do. Okay. Um, the Lions <laughs> oh. or the town or Camp Cadet or, you know, any of the organizations around TKK say, we need help with something. There's always a group of ladies that will jump in and do it. Great. And how often do you meet as a group? We meet the last Thursday of every month. Okay. Um, up at the Glennon Center, down, mm -hmm. well, downstairs at the Glennon Center at 7 p.m. And what is the turnout for your meetings? Probably about between 30 and 50 people. Which is really great. Mm -hmm. It is. It and is. A, a meeting, you talk, you catch up. I know you're the president, but you also have a board. We have a board. And a board of director. Yeah, we do have a board of directors. There's myself and first vice president is Roberta Whitaker. The second vice, I think I just said that backwards. First vice president is Marie J. Hill. Okay. And second vice president is Roberta Whitaker, and they're going to kill me if I got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and our, our treasurer is uh, Sue Glasky, mm -hmm. and our um, secretary is Sue Happner, and our out, outgoing president is uh, Michelle McGuire. Well, it just seems that you have a you have a person appointed to cover so much of what's happening in TKK and outside of TKK as it relates to our school district. Um, when it comes to ideas. Do you have traditional uh, fundraisers every year, or is every year kind of a, a new opportunity to include more? Well, a couple of things happen. Um, basically, we have one fundraiser a year, and that's the garage sale at the, the um, Fall Festival. So, And where does that that's go? That's downstairs in the Glennon Center. It goes to different places every year, mm -hmm. and the board has not decided definitely where it's going to go. Last year, the uh, profits went to the uh, care center, Fort Mill Care Center. Center. It will be something local. Okay. So that's really your big focus. That's our big focus. Something like the this uh, Mardi Bras here that we're doing today. It was just Wait, kind did of you say Mardi Gras? Mardi Bras. Oh, Mardi Bras. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, oh, Marty Bra! But that was just an idea we had of something that we could do to have a little bit of fun. Yes. And then it just kind of morphed into something more. So. Yeah, this is amazing, and it really is tied into the fundraiser. Right. Where the funds are going. Right. This is um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and kind of morphed into ovarian cancer awareness as well. <laughs> And this, um, the proceeds from this will be going to a, a grassroots corporation, or 501c3, that's called Nothing Pink. Nothing Pink. And what they do is genetic testing, or they, their education on genetic, genetic testing for the BRCA4. So, Which is an indicator that you have, have a higher you probability have a gene of, mm -hmm. of breast cancer and breast cancer. cancer. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's knowledge, it's information. It's knowledge, yes. And it's now available. It's empowering women to have information to make informed decisions. Right. And having the Mardi Gras, of course, you're decorating the brassiere mm -hmm. um, in all different themes. I mean, I see a panther theme. I see, what would you call this one? Vegas? Uh I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said this one you could go to the Renaissance Festival. You could, yeah. You could just do a little headpiece and be a fairy. Mm -hmm. And of course, this just screams favorite gift under the Christmas tree. It does, doesn't just it? Just saying. Yeah. Um, so. And we have, we have this one, our favorite TV shows down below. 
the boob tube. Uh huh. I love just you're carrying that theme right on through, aren't you? And of course, this is Mardi Gras. This right. one back here. Well, okay, so you got together as a club and created very, very cool uh, Mardi Bras. What's next? How does this turn into actual funding okay, for this well, organization? Okay, well, next month, a um, representative from Nothing Pink will be, will be talking at the Women's Club, so anybody that wants to come and hear what she has to say, please join us. Okay. And um, we're going to present our proceeds to her at that time. What we're doing is we're carrying this around to a few organizations within the city, and, we're, and they're also going to stay here in, in Carmen's office for a little oh. while. And um, we're going to have this, there will be one of these for each bra, and we're going to take for a dollar a vote. So you just vote for the bra that you want. and Your we'll favorite. Take, yeah, my favorite is that one because I did it. Oh, of course. <laughs> I did it. No, my favorite, I don't know, I love them all. Actually. They are really, yeah. Yeah, yeah they all, they're, they're all so special. different. They're very special. But we'll, um, you know, we'll, the proceeds from this will all go to Nothing Pink. So every when you see this, you vote a dollar, you can vote more than once. You can vote as many times as you want. And then you will tally the votes when? We'll tally the votes. Well, I'll be tallying them all month. So but we'll be able to kind of keep uh, on top of which bra is the leader of the pack? Exactly, exactly. Awesome. As, as after I go to function, I'll count all this money, put it down in the right, right place, and I'll come up with a something that we can put out on Facebook or whatever. I love it. Well, I think it's wonderful that the TKK Women's Club is giving the opportunity to talk about personal, um, what would you say, personal battles. Because so often we don't know that mm -hmm. someone right in our very own city, neighborhood, is going through what they're going through. And yet it's such a great, it's gotta be a great feeling to know that the support of so many incredible women are making a difference by decorating bras. Oh yeah, and if you, you know, you go online and look this type of thing or any kind of organization up, you know, it's happening all over the world, not just here in TGK. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Fort Mill TGK. To see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com. But if you want to check out the TGK Women's Club, join us at the last Thursday night of every month at 7 p.m. and downstairs at the Glennon Center. And make sure that you vote for your favorite Marty Bra. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer and Hope McBride. Bye bye. Bye.